Welcome guys in Port Arthur. This is a prison or it was a prison back in the days. Now it is more like a museum and uh, it's the first museum port that we uh, that we dock at because our ship is right there. It's a tender port so we couldn't get all the way to the real port. We use tenders, these smaller boats. You see them coming down here to the port and then you walk straight into the museum area. So we got the prison right there. And they kept sending people here because they needed people in the colony in Australia. Here we are in Tasmania and uh, no one thought about moving here voluntarily. So if you did anything, if you stole a handkerchief or you stole a t-shirt or whatever, if you do anything, they send you here. Before this uh, turned into a prison building that was actually a flour mill. That was a failed project and they used to just house the prisoners in these wooden huts because there was no way to escape anyways. The waters around this peninsula are filled with sharks. It's bush all around so if you're gonna try to escape you probably won't make it. And uh, I heard from one of the tour guides that some of the guys that tried to escape actually returned hungry after two to three days because at least there was food here. And uh, right here you have the military complex. So that's where the soldiers, the guards of the prison were housed. Right on top of this hill. Look at that guard tower. Built like a little castle. Right there also. Pretty cool place. A lot of history. And, uh, and it is a peninsula so you could basically, if you made it to the skinniest point that attaches this peninsula to the mainland of Tasmania. You could make it to Hobart, but they had a line of dogs, a wall of dogs, that is actually literally called line of dogs. 15 dogs were there to make sure that no prisoner made it past there as well. So uh, escaping was not an option. You had to work. Many people that came here, they were actually the, the baddest of them all because this was not just a normal prison you had a normal prison in well basically the rest of Australia but if you were sent to Australia and you kept misbehaving they decided to send you here to Tasmania so they had this church on the parameters and everyone had to go, all the prisoners had to go to church, it was compulsory. And uh, as you see, there's no roof anymore because it burned down, it was all made of wood. And at that time, Port Arthur also became a bit of a welfare station for the older ex-convicts uh, from the colony that had nowhere else to go. So a cell block for one person was exactly this big and then in the wall you can't see it here but right here you see that in the wall they had these two rings to chain you up and then the, the sewage system ran down you see that you, it ran down the floor here from cell to cell and right above you can see the second floor the cell blocks right there and if you behave well, they moved you from the bottom two floors, where everyone was locked up individually, to the top floors, where everyone was locked up in dormitory style. So I, uh, I imagine that gave you a little bit more space to, to breathe, right? And some interaction with other people. This is inside the cell block. So the building right behind me is uh, the, how do you call that, mental illness asylum and uh, of course they built that right next to the isolation cells where you got, if you were really bad, you got put there and you weren't able or you weren't allowed to talk with anyone else, you weren't allowed to see anyone else, sometimes for years and of course if you do that to a person, they might turn crazy and then they just move them 
to the building next door. Which would be a relief, I guess. Because then at least you're not in isolation anymore. It's way up the hill here, isolated from the rest of the prison as well. And then if you misbehaved, even in there, so I assume that if you broke the rule of not talking, you would be moved to a cell that is completely dark. So we saw one cell that had no window, no bed, no desk. It was just an empty place, completely dark. That was the worst of the worst. You better not end up there, then you really go crazy. And now we're gonna walk back to the pier. The pier is right there. And we're gonna, we, we got a ticket for a 3 p.m. ferry ride. It's included in the, in the ticket, the museum ticket. And they're just gonna well, sail around the bay for a bit. I'm gonna show us the boys prison because that was not here. This was only for the adults. The boys prison is on a separate island. And then you see here, you see lots of tour guides as well talking. We, we attended some of their, uh, their classes, they're all over. And uh, they're explaining the history of this place. That is all included as well. Hey. So this is, uh, we, we learned a lot. It's an interesting experience. So to end up in this prison, what did you have to do? Well, not much turns out. You could uh, literally steal a piece of bread in England and if they caught you, they would send you right to Australia and sometimes if you were unlucky right here to Tasmania to Port Arthur and uh, well there was a lot of boys as well that were just stealing candies or handkerchiefs little things and they were sent here as well but not to this main prison building Nathaniel is the violin player on board I'm gonna give him the camera I'm gonna pose right in front of this beautiful old building here. This is a Tasmanian cookie, Tasmanian lemon cookie. They don't have those in the Lido on board. And I'm gonna have a bite. Thank you. Welcome. Mm. Mm. I swear, you want to try? I give you. No, no, no. You have to test it. It is very good, yeah. I'll, I'll take your rage for Tasmanian you. desserts. Sweet. Very good, yeah. Mm. Now we're waiting for the for the ferry. That boat right there is gonna come pick us up. We're getting on the ferry. Got the ticket right here. The majority of those, as you can imagine, are convicts. But to give them their proper status, convicts, that means convicted person. You guys made it. Yeah! Yes! Yeah, there you are. Very good. Did they keep the kids on that island? Right behind us? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. So, uh, so here's the, the story. The kids, they were afraid that they did send kids to, to uh, Port Arthur. But they were afraid that the kids were going to have bad influence from the adults in the prison. So they wanted to isolate them from the adults. That's why they put them on this island here. Still part of the prison, but the kids' prison. And then, here you got the island of dead. Which is, I think, oh, it's, it's moving a lot. The island of that is for uh, for the people who died. They buried them on that island. And then here, of course, we have our lovely home, floating, waiting for us. Turn to the big ship and uh, if I learned one thing today it is that if you're traveling back in time with a time machine do not steal anything no matter how small it is because people got life in Port Arthur for stealing basically a, a piece of cheese or something small like that 
Hope you enjoyed. See you on the next vlog. Ciao, ciao.